Vegas, you don't necessarily think of food. Sin City, of course, is better known for sprawling casinos, sold out performances, and cocktails on every corner. But an often overlooked aspect of Vegas is just how many fine dining experiences are on offer. Over the years, the city has given us it all. Award-winning chefs, stunning interior decor, and a chance to mingle with celebrities over cocktails. If you're planning a trip in 2024, here are the hottest restaurants to look out for. The recently launched Fontainebleau Casino received a lot of attention, considering it took 16 years to build. But while everyone's fawning over the 3,500-odd rooms, six-and-a-half-acre pool deck, and glamorous lobby, they might not have realized that the hotel also happens to have one of the best restaurants in the country, Mother Wolf. Curated by acclaimed chef Evan Funke, Mother Wolf is a tribute to Roman Italian cuisine. On the menu is a wide selection of wafer-thin wood-fired pizzas, seasonal antipasta, and classic Roman pasta like cabonara, arrabbiata, and more. If you know anything about Mother Wolf's Hollywood location, you'll know that all the food is Michelin star quality. In fact, Chef Funke's signature focaccia bread has received rave reviews over the years, with many saying it surpasses anything you'll find in the country's most popular Italian eateries. As soon as you're seated, you'll be greeted by an expert sommelier who will guide you through a massive list of Italian wines, including their prices, regions, and styles. The gorgeous restaurant, which can be found in the Fontaine Blue on Las Vegas Boulevard, seats approximately 200 guests and has a private dining room that can be booked for a more intimate party of 32. Expect to pay upwards of $100 per person. One of Vegas' newest restaurants is bringing the taste of Tulum to the Centennial Hills. Helmed by renowned chef Eduardo Lalo Saavedra and operated by the team that gave us the iconic Sand Dollar Lounge, this diner features an elevated take on Mexican cuisine and has become a seriously hot commodity since its launch in mid-2024. The menu is inspired by the recipes of co-owner Anthony Jameson's grandmother, Juliette. The enchiladas, for example, are prepared in tray pans and not individually rolled. Each layer is topped with homemade sauce, protein, and cheese, just like Grandma Juliet used to do when babysitting Jameson. Chef Saavedra adds a similar authentic touch to all of his dishes, introducing Vegas to lesser-known Mexican ingredients, flavors, and techniques. The Cocktail Bar with its long list of margarita varieties and drinks with fresh squeezed juice goes beyond tequila and mezcal to offer you an authentic glimpse into the extent of Mexican hospitality. Just a month into its launch, the restaurant received several rave reviews, with many praising not only the food, but also the ambience, service, and attention to detail. For the first time in its 100-year history, the legendary Peter Luger Steakhouse opened a U.S. location outside of New York, and it couldn't have picked a better spot. The Michelin-starred restaurant is now open at Caesars Palace, bringing with it the same German beer hall setting that it first became renowned for in the late 1800s. Just a month after its launch in October 2023, the steakhouse had already welcomed 11,000 diners and served 10 tons of its signature beef which comes from a state-of-the-art, dry-aging room below the restaurant. The gorgeous, octagonal-shaped restaurant has tall ceilings spanning 8,700 square feet and features exposed brick walls, wood panels, and massive industrial windows. It seats more than 300 diners across its main dining room, along with its large central bar and private rooms. While Luger's is best known for its porterhouse steak dinners for one, two, three, or four, it's not a bad place for lunch either. In fact, the restaurant's highly recommended signature burger and steak sandwich are only available on the midday menu. Earlier this year, May Dally's made its grand debut on the Strip, bringing a timeless touch of glamour to the city's dining scene. The location is perfect for an American classic steakhouse inspired by the legend of Prohibition-era saloon owner May Daly. 
While not many can attest to her existence, they can certainly vouch for the exceptional steaks and whiskey served at this iconic spot. The dream of restaurateur Richard Feminella, May Daly serves up classic steaks with a modern flair. The signature showstopper dish is the result of a collaboration with Northern Nevada's renowned Frey Ranch Distillery. The Filet Mignon Apoivir, which gets finished tableside with a flambe of Frey Ranch uncut whiskey. The restaurant also features five exceptional styles of beef, each crafted to perfection. Wet aged, dry aged, 100% grass fed, American Wagyu, and the pinnacle of luxury, certified Japanese Kobe A5 Wagyu. The restaurant's extensive wine selection features both classic and rare vintages, making it easy to find the ideal pairing. With opulent chandeliers, plush velvet seating, and Art Deco-inspired decor, May Daly's is more than just a meal, it's an experience. Over at the Venetian, the Japanese restaurant Wakuda is celebrating two years since its launch in Vegas and its first foray into the US. Helmed by international acclaimed chef Tetsuya Wakuda, the restaurant redefines modern high-end Japanese cuisine. Over the years, Wakuda's unique take on the classics has earned him two Michelin stars. This experience and expertise are shown in his Vegas menu, which features delights like lobster tempura, snapper capaccio, or premium wagyu. The wide selection of sushi and sashimi has been hailed by many reviewers as the best in the country. The vibe matches the food too. The Wakuda, located in the lobby of the Venetian Palazzo Tower, is a stunning space that features cherry blossoms, koi ponds, and massive Buddha statues. Apart from the main dining room, there's an inviting outdoor terrace, a sophisticated lounge that offers a host of artisanal cocktails, and a private omakase room from where you can experience one of Wakuda's exclusive tasting menus. Trust me, fans of Japanese cuisine are not going to want to miss out on this one.